Hi everybody, this is Tiffany. I hope everyone's having a great day. I came on to get prophetic word. So guys, this prophetic word has two messages in it from one song. But before I get into that, I'm going to um, just speak on what happened yesterday on the live. So the person that was talking about um, what they felt like doing to themselves, um, what I want to just glaze over is when I said we're prophetic people over here. What that means, I had did a video about it, I think like a year ago, about, you know, the world calls it empath. So we're always open to the spirit, whether it be uh, good or bad, trying to come through, right? And this is why we suit up, this is why we pray, this is why we plead the precious blood of the Lord over us. It's because when we were in the world and we were gifted, we didn't know what it was, right? So because we didn't know what it was, it used to, um, it used to affect us in a negative way because we didn't know what it was and why we were picking up on these feelings. We're always open to the spirit. There's no turning it off. We can maintain it in a positive way because of prayer, because of um, our, our lifestyle, because we eliminate sin, because we pray, we fast, we, we suit up, things of that nature. But we still can receive evil as well. So the enemy knows this, and this is the thing a lot of people don't know. So when you're prophetic, you're always open to the spirit, and this is why you're able to pick up on everything, whether it be good or bad. So because of that, this is why the Lord said, death and life is in the power of the tongue. You can bring life to something that you're supposed to speak death to, if that makes sense. So when we're on live communication like that, whether on the phone, on a chat, whatever, that's open communication. We're all connected to each other when that line is open. A live is an open line. A open line to affl afflict, afflict and affect anyone. When I respond in that way, their spirit is speaking louder than what they're saying. So her words wasn't matching up. You could say with her energy, which is her spirit, it wasn't lining up, it wasn't, um, it wasn't authentic. So what she was saying wasn't what her spirit was speaking. So that's why those, the response was in that way. So it's really hard to fool people that are prophetic um, what that person did was try to um, cause um, cause confusion. So it wasn't the spirit of the Lord within that person. The person never emailed. The person wasn't looking for help. Anyway, she had the response she got because of her spirit and it was not lining up with her words. So with this message here, this is a song, Feel It In The Air. I don't know if you guys know that song. This came out in 2005 so Beanie Siegel so he's actually talking through this song so when I went through the song when I was reading the song some things stood out two parts of the song but it didn't align with each other so the Lord revealed so it's two messages within this one song here so I'm just gonna read what stood out to me so it starts off there's some words in here i'll skip over it but um there's some words in here i'll link it as well because something might stand out to you guys so uh i feel it in the air and he says that again here so he starts off with his spidey senses is tingling so this is like a um you can say uh discernment so his spidey senses is tingling feeling something got my radars up again speaking about something that he can sense feel um intuition gut things of like that nature i feel it in the air it says something going on i feel funny you can't tell me nothing different my nose twitching intuition setting in like steve vision i still close my eyes i still see visions still hear the voice in the back of my mind that's the lord so what do i do i still take heed i still listen so he's saying that he's taking heed to the voice that's telling him about whatever he's feeling which is his gut his intuition is going off about something that he feels funny about this is where i take the turn where i know it was a person i read between the lines of the eyes of your brows your handshake ain't matching your smile and then he says you n were foul or whatever so right there um when he says your handshake ain't matching your smile is letting you know that this is a person so what came to me was um betrayal i sit alone in the four cornered room staring at hammers ready to go bananas i forgot about that part so when he says ready to go bananas i know my mind ain't playing tricks on me i ain't skiz homie meaning that i'm not crazy so you're not crazy about whatever it is that you're feeling so this is just confirmation because this message is for someone that the lord is speaking to about someone that's in your circle so i ain't skiz homie out and the four corners of your room you know when you in the four corners um that you in the room all by yourself 
this is what's confirmation. So you're not going crazy about whatever it is that you're feeling about this certain person. And it says, like Mac, tighten up your circle before they hurt you. I listen to a YouTuber that says that all the time. Um, I didn't even know this was the song. So I remember this song, like the chorus. I feel it in the air. I remember that. But I don't remember the words at all. <laughs> I don't remember any of these words. And then when I went to look it up, I was like, what? I, you know, I wasn't walking my walk yet. And the words that he's speaking is, you know, intense, especially the second part of this message. So, um, tighten up your circle before they hurt you. I know my mind ain't playing tricks on me. I ain't skiz. Like schizo. Um, so yeah, so your mind is not playing tricks on, on you. This is this person isn't for you. So this is confirmation this person isn't for you. Tighten up your circle before they hurt you. So that's confirmation. It's confirmation for for me too. Because I listen to somebody that say that all the time. Tighten up your circle before they hurt you. And there's a, a message that I gave before when it was something about circle, about your circle. When they was, I think it was unscrewing the ladder when I was all the way up on the ladder. It was un um screwing the screw and you know to fall you know what i mean and that was the end i don't know if it was a vision or a dream but i'll link it if i um because that came to me too so there's somebody in your circle that you need to tighten up because that person is not for you that person is oh yeah that's right so i listened to the i looked at the video first because when i look up the song feel it in the air the video came up first so with the video i don't know if you guys know the video um method man is in there and that was supposed to be his friend, but at the end, you could see that Method Man is on the SWAT team. So it was like setting him up, if that makes sense. So um, when um, I was going over this, and then, um, because first I looked at the video, then I got the words to, to, to read it and to let it play to see how the Holy, what the Holy Spirit would highlight. So the video came back. So it's not only betrayal, it's also set up as well. And this is why you got to tighten up your circle. So this is something that you really do need to take heed to. Because it's someone that the Lord has been telling you to, uh, to, to watch out for. This person is not for you. Not only are they going to try to betray you, because it could be preventative, they are going to set you up. And that is where the betrayal is going to come from. So, all right. So it says read their body language 85 percent communication nonverbal. 85 percent swear they know you 10 percent you know their story man the other five tell them show you just know you so just know who you are regarding this stand firm on what you feel so you'll let go of the people that you need to let go of all right so now this is the, the, the other part that stood out and i was like how does it fit it doesn't it is actually to be separate so the other part of it says, can you feel the grim reaper floating? Foul preacher quote in scripture from Revelation. To talk, bleep, and got the devil waiting. Body getting stiff, so levitating. Why do I speak blasphemy? Knowing one day they will ask for me. As for my sins, no one will feel his wrath for me. I go through it so you wouldn't do it after me. So right here, I go through it so you wouldn't do it after me. That part stood out, but I don't know how it fits in what I'm about to say. So this part might mean something to someone. I go through it so you wouldn't after me. So you could be the person that is mentoring someone that is going through what I'm about to say right now. So that part probably is specific for someone. So this has to do with the church. It has to be with someone that knows the difference. Can you feel the grim reaper float in the spirit of death here? Um, foul preacher quoting scripture from Revelation. So the Lord is confirming this is someone that's in a church, right? Uh, to talk bleep and got the devil waiting. Why do I speak blasphemy? Knowing one day they will ask for me, meaning the enemy, as for my sins, no one will feel his wrath for me. The wrath of the Lord is what he's talking about. No one's going to feel it for him. He's going to feel it himself. I go through it so you wouldn't do it after me. So the scripture that came to me regarding that part, um, the sin here, the grim reaper here, um, was death right sin and death that stood out regarding what i just read so romans 6 23 for the wages of sin is death but the gift of god is eternal life through jesus christ our lord and savior so what the lord is saying it's like a choice of someone has to make so they're playing the fence right but they already know what's going on with their life here um false teacher here but the false teacher how how it plays a part in that person's life i don't know if uh, they could be taking counsel from someone or the person is not giving them sound doctrine here Paul preacher quoting scripture from Revelation to talk, bleep, and got the devil waiting. 
body getting stiff, so levitating, so out your body, like you're on your way, the person's on their way to death if they continue on that path. Why do I speak blasphemy, knowing one day they will ask for me? As for my sins, no one will feel his wrath for me. I go through it so you wouldn't do it after me. So um, the Lord has come to give us eternal life. So it's like the Lord is here, but the person is so engulfed in sin that they don't know how to get to the Lord. So you know, when you just around false preachers, false teachers, just a lot of false people that don't, they're not connected to the Lord. This is what this person is going through, whoever it is, whoever this message is for. So this person is um, needing help from sin because this, the, this, the wages of sin is death. So this person feels more death than life. So this is the problem. So um, what the Lord is saying is all you have to do is go to the Lord. You, need, you pray, you repent and he will do the rest. You need help, he will do the rest. Stop trying to figure it out. You're engulfed in sin. Go to the Lord, even if you're crawling to the Lord. Go in the secret place and pray to the Lord for help. That's it. You know what I mean? And then he's going to lead you to the people that has the knowledge for you, the correct people. So this message, um, so this song has two messages in it. One, the people, the person that uh, the Lord has been warning you about is wanting to set you up and there's going to betray you, this person. And then Judas came to me as well when I was going over this yesterday so you have a judas there but you know it your intuition has told you this the lord has revealed this to you you have taken heed but that person is still around so this message is the lord letting you know this person has to get caught off this person is plotting on you right now this person wants to set you up and to betray you whoever that person is is a judas all right so the first part of this um message here is you need to cut off this person and there's no time to think about it you already know it um the lord the lord confirmed it so this person has to go this person is going to betray you all right um so in the video bent the man and the rest of the swap was right in front of his house so it's like they said he set him up because he's the one with the the drugs you can say method man he's the one with the drugs and set him up so it's like they, they're going to put you in a position that you're going to get set up and then you're the one that's going to take the fall for what, I don't know in how, what way, but it's going to be on you. And that person is going to strategically put you there. So this person has to go, one. And number two, the second person needs to go to the Lord because you, you the person feels more death than life. And that's a problem. So the sin, the, the, the sin that's in this person's life is drowning them what they need to do because they want the Lord what they need to do is go to the Lord they need to pray to the Lord all you have to do is go to the Lord you know what I mean it's not that difficult uh, I think people think it's more difficult to come to the Lord when it's not he's right there waiting for you you just go to him you know what I mean and he's gonna lead you to the right people so that's pretty much it I hope this much helps somebody I love you guys have a wonderful and blessed day and I'll see you soon love living and blessed bye